We knew we wanted a family and we had found out that we couldn't have one of our own biologically. Um, and that's when we started looking into adoption. We weren't really looking into fostering at all. Um, it re we wanted to be informed about crossing it off the list and that's when we reached out to Ray and talked to him. He changed our minds and we left that meeting ready to foster. So we got our first placement in June of 2020. Uh, she was two months old. Uh, we had her for 12 days um, and then uh, she went home and it was really hard. Like we had to send her back into what we knew was a bad environment. We just were so afraid to like send her home knowing what we knew. We were on a walk together through Cornwall Park, actually, walking our dog, and we got a call and were informed that uh, the first placement was, was back in foster care, and since she had been in our home before and we had such a great connection, they were wanting to know if we'd be happy to take them, and it was hard to say no. I also promised you that I would change all the diapers and wake up in the middle of the night just to like entice you to get her back. That was an empty promise. <laughs> yeah. So as uh, the case was progressing with the parents um, and it started to look more and more like we would be potential, a potentially adoptive home, the fact that our placement has two older siblings uh, really came into play there. And the state really wanted and hoped that they could be placed together um, in a home so that they could continue with that sibling bond. And, and we wanted that for them too. It just came down to can we go from one to three that quickly and how? And yeah, how crazy is that gonna be? We were living in a pretty small house that we uh, bought and we put a lot of time and energy to remodeling it. Um, and we really felt like it was our home. Um, but we also knew that there was this opportunity to take in three kids and you know, start a life as a family and go towards adoption. And we wanted that too. At the time we were married for, for nine years, uh, but hadn't had kids of our own before. So moving into foster care and learning to be parents with the one and then going to one to three and adopting them it was a shift in self, and that took a lot of learning of like, who are we now as parents of these three kids, one ten, one three, and one two? Like, that's that's a big change, and we had to do a lot of quick reevaluating. Yeah, and going from like a baby to also having she was nine at the time, I thought I was nine. How hard could it be to parent a nine-year-old? turns out very difficult if you've never done it before. Um, and just like a lot of dynamics, going from just being a friend to her to then being a parent, that was really hard. Being a parent is, it's like indescribable joy. I don't like, I don't know how to give it justice. Um, they're everything to us. It's hard to imagine life without them now, to see them wake up in the morning and they're like yelling mama data <laughs> at you from their cribs to like saying goodnight to them and they're like wanting you to sing country roads to them and, and read them books. It's just like, it's immense joy and it's just love not known elsewhere. The foster community and parents who foster, um, it's actually a really great group of people. You find that bond with other people who are just like you and are crazy just like you. I think it's the knowing nod when you talk yeah. about it. It's yeah. the, yeah, yeah I've, I've been, been on that phone call. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the trenches with the kids. Um, and that has always stuck with me. And I, I think that that's beautiful and it makes all the difference in the world to them. I think years ago, it wasn't something we were thinking about, let alone foster care, but making that first call to Ray, like that's when everything changed for us and I would not go back.